Hello, y'all. Uh, this is Mark, Mark Hansen, your friendly neighborhood Sabretooth. <laughs> uh, you know, on here again, it feels like I've only been on here. Uh, it's only been 24 hours since the last time you see me on here. But uh, to be honest with you, I mean, um, I'm going to keep up with this weekly. Uh, yesterday was more of a product thing than I was doing. Uh, today is going to be more of a uh, update on everything that's going on with the um, surgery and everything. And um, if you don't know, I just had a bariatric surgery. Um, what that means is I had a, and it's a weight loss procedure. Basically I've had um, my stomach, they cut it down to a third. Uh, so I only have like a small, I have a small stomach now, um, which is good. Uh, and amazingly it's going great. Um, I want to also uh, preface this with, got a couple bits of great news, um, and I have one bad thing. <laughs> it's really not a bad thing. It's more of a, oh, shucks, I messed up type of thing. <laughs> um, so let me start by prefacing this with, start by preferencing this with, um, everything's going great with the surgery. Um I've been sticking to the plan of what they've told me to eat and what I can't eat. Um, things are going great so far. Um, and honestly, eating less is not hard as much as I thought it was going to be. In fact, my stomach, does, I don't feel like I'm, I feel full. I don't feel like I need much more. Um, and even more so, the things that I'm allowed to eat aren't necessarily... I won't no, I won't lie to you. I do see some things. I'm like, man, a chicken pot pie would be good right now, or this would be good right now. But I'm not missing like having burgers or sandwiches like that. I'm not missing having like full on burritos every five minutes, which I've learned that how you're gonna how when I get to that point I'll be able to, you know, make those and make those be something I can eat without actually. Having all the carbs, man, trust me, I've learned a lot that uh, there's a lot of foods that in the way we make things and restaurants that makes things a lot worse for your health. Um, so I'm learning that. But um, yeah, it's, it's not that bad right now. I thought that it was going to be like, oh, I can only eat their uh, low sugar, this type of biscuit or this or something like that and it's going to suck and it's just going to be dry no I've, I've eaten oatmeal and i've got splenda so i got it's sugary it's, it's it's not sugary but it's uh sweet so it was good i've uh i've got my chocolate milk you can talk i told you about the excess yesterday i'm um, eating eggs now um scrambled eggs that's awesome um yeah everything's going great the one sliver of issues that I do have, though, and, and most people who know me know that I wasn't a big uh, dessert person anyway. So as far as the desserts go, um, I'm not going to sit here and say I don't like or I don't miss like cookies or cakes and stuff like that. But it's not like it was never like a daily thing for me. It was more like, oh, every once in a while I like to have a cookie or something like that. So not having that is not a problem. Um but the one little sliver, the one little thing that is kind of, none of their bothering me is, oh, I can't wait to eat solid meats again. Pause. I realized when I started saying that, how, how bad that sounded. But, you know, solid protein is, oh, I can't wait to eat. Uh, now, I know I'm not going to be able to, like, eat on a full-on steak, or I may not be, because I've heard that depending on certain types of people, some people can eat steak. Some people can't. Some people eat chicken. Some people can't. But um, I'm I'm excited for being able to eat shredded chicken again. Uh, can't wait for Thanksgiving to be able to eat turkey and stuff like that. Um, and, and things like that. It just sausage, like ground up sausage. You whew, ground up hamburger. You don't understand how much that is. Miss, I'm, I'm eating tuna fish now, which is cool. And it does, uh, you know, fulfill the need. But you do get to a point where you're just like, man, 
some ground beef would be good right now or oh i want some chicken right now and that'll be down the line i'll be able to you know do that once i've trained myself to you know limit myself so so i'm not sweating it but it's just like man i can't wait to get to that point um but that's the only really thing that i'm missing or really truly truly feeling any hurt or mad about or any i don't even think it's mad just like oh, i can't wait to get to other than that everything's pretty much good and in fact it's here's a funny thing um most people may not understand this or know this um some people who are really close with me understood this i never really ate that much what happened was I wouldn't eat all day, and then I'd eat one large meal. I don't think you understand what I mean by that, but if you know if you know what nutrition is, you understand what was happening to me. Like my body was like literally storing up fat all day just for this one meal, and then I'd overeat the meal. Still wouldn't get enough calories for the whole day, but then it would get the calories from it and store up again until the next time I ate. So it was like my body was not effectively burning the uh the fat and, and the calories that i was intaking so it's never been a problem of eating too little it's always been a problem of not eating enough if that makes sense or, or enough throughout the day in other words so that's been my challenge is making myself eat breakfast lunch and dinner um but it's gotten better now that i only have to eat small portions when I'm really only eating like maybe uh, maybe four or five, maybe six uh, tablespoons of food. So it's not like I'm like gorging myself at breakfast or lunch like that. So that's, that's, that's really good. And the protein shake throughout the day helps out as well. Um, so that's been good. Um, some good news. Went to see the doctor today. Two bits of good news. Two bits of great news. First off, uh, went to see the doctor today and got my staples out. So I'm not going to show you the the the, <laughs> the scars yet. Um, I may have to do that at some point because, I mean, it is part of my journey. But I uh, may have to show that here. Uh, but I'm not going to do it now. Um, but I got the staples out, which was awesome. I thought they were going to hurt take it out, but it really didn't hurt. It was more like a needle prick. Um, also weighed myself. I didn't do it professionally because they didn't ask me to weigh myself, but I did it sneakily. I went to the side and just got on the scale. Um, and I lost since, uh, about a month from now, I lost 30 pounds already. So I'm like under... Uh, under, well, you guys are here with me, so I'm going to tell you my journey and where I was at. When I first started this journey back in March-ish, I was about 5'15". I know it didn't look like it. A lot of people saw my way, I saw my pictures and like, really? But yeah, I was, I was surprised too when I went to the hospital. Well, I was 5'15". Um, by the time I, I actually got selected for surgery I was 489 um, and as of today I'm just under 446 or 447 something like that it was the scale was jumping up and down so I'm progressively losing weight which is awesome for me um, on my way to where I want to be um, and just so you guys know my goals um, I'm hoping in six months to be below, I want to say below 300. Well, no, that's much. I definitely want to be below 400, maybe in 350, 320 range. That'll be my old, you know, right before I started business weight and stuff like that. Um, I would love to get under 200 ultimately and, or no, under 300 ultimately. So like in 280 range. If I can get to 250, that's it. That's where I, that's where I want to be. Um, but I would also wouldn't mind getting under 200 because I really feel like I'm a little man in a big man's body. 
<laughs> no, but, but yeah, you know, I just want to get down as much as I possibly can, you know, and I, I don't have a time limit for it. Um, there are the last few years of my life of witnessed so many people putting time limits on stuff. And if you understand the logic behind it, it makes sense to do that. And it's okay. But sometimes I think putting time limits on things and saying by this time kind of hinders your your actual growth. If that makes sense. Like, I need to effectively get myself to that point. To the point where I actually have actually fully lost the weight, not I scrambled and got on that weight because I starved for one week. No, I want to physically actually get there, not try to trick myself to say I got there. So that's what I'm working on. But those are two great big pieces of news. Um, now, here's the bad news. That wasn't really bad. Like I said, it was kind of like, oh, shucks, I messed up. So on the way there, I actually met a couple people who were, you know, in varying degrees of their surgery as well. I met a gentleman who uh, had bariatric surgery like two or three years ago, and he had the sleeve, and it ended up starting getting like um, acid reflux and issues because he was, you know, not eating right. And um, so he had to go back in, and now he's getting the, he got the bypass. Um, he just got it the same day I got it. And he gave me some pointers, let me know, you know, just stick to the diet, make sure you eat what you're supposed to eat, um, blah, 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 same old, same old. But good tip, great to meet somebody who was actually going through it and has already gone through it. Here's where the kicker comes in. Um, so most of you know I'm not, I'm single, I'm not romantically involved with anybody. Um and I happened to meet this beautiful, beautiful young lady by the name of Tiffany. Um, and light skin, black woman. Um, and she was great. I thought she was worked there at first. That's what I, I assumed. Um, but then she let me know she had just had the surgery as well. I think she may work there, but under the, the, um, under their plan, she was able to get the surgery as well. So she ended up getting the surgery and was in there for a uh, checkup to get set up for uh, two months. Um, so um, had a conversation with her. She's, I think she's four, no, five months post-op. Told me that, yeah, at some point it does plateau and you start going through a mental part of it. You got to figure out that mental part of it. And uh, the mess up part was, as I sit back and I sat down, before I got in my car, I sat down in the lobby, you know, to take a breather before I walked all the way to my car. And I missed every sign of I like you. I can't believe I did that. I sat there and I was like, she was touching her hair. This was the second time she stopped me to ask me about how I was doing. Uh, she felt, she seemed nervous. She even was eating like her, uh, I want to say like her lunch or something like that. And when I walked by her, she put her phone away and tried to throw her, her packaging away and put it in the trash just to stop to talk to me. And I did not even acknowledge or say, ask her for her number. I feel like an idiot, like a straight idiot. Cause she obviously was feeling me. She obviously wanted to talk to me. She even said, uh, I know I see you around again. I, I hope to see you again. Um, you know, good luck on your journey and everything like that. Now, to the layman's terms, and most people would think, oh, that's nice, that's sweet. But that also meant, like, I, if if I'm reading this correct, and like I said, I've, I've been bad in the past with weedy women, but I was such an idiot in the past that I've started to study and understand when a woman touches her hair while she's talking to you playfully and certain things, there's certain things you can tell when she's feeling you. And I literally missed every last one of them till I sat down five minutes later and she was gone. And I'm like, oh my God, I didn't even say, hey, yeah, could I get your number? Maybe I could get some pointers in the future about, you know, what's going on. 
I'm learning. I'm learning, ladies. I'm learning. It's just, I was just so dumb. And I, I hope to see her again. If you're out there, Tiffany, hey, hey, um, give me a, uh, reach out to me somehow. But if not, you know, like I said, I hope to see you again. And uh, I mean, if anything, like I said, I'm, it's not about a romantic thing right now. I'm trying to lose weight, but have somebody who can I can walk down this path of a weight loss with so I don't feel so, you know, lonely, you know, by myself sitting in this house trying to figure this out. Because there's going to be, I know there's going to be uh, places I'm going to go with other friends and they're going to be, blah, blah, blah. And I'm going to be like, mm. <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna be like that I, I can already tell but um it would be great to have somebody to go with um so that's that's the bad news that was the only bad news uh on the next step though uh also learned from my uh, doctor i'm going to be cleared in a week to start eating shredded chicken and stuff like that like i said i'm excited for that um but more importantly i will be cleared for thanksgiving so if anybody wants to invite me to a Thanksgiving partner, uh, a party or anything like that, I am down to come, um, you know, what's ever going on. Um, just expect I won't be, don't put me down as a an extra person because the reality of it is I will probably eat the least amount of food there. Um, I'm not eat, probably not going to eat like, uh, like a lot of carbs. So if you've got macaroni and cheese and stuff like that, expect me to eat maybe like three or four noodles. <laughs> uh, I can eat a little bit more mashed potatoes because it's a little less solid, but I can't eat a lot of it. So you might eat, see me eat like a, like a uh, two tablespoons or something like that of that. Um, and like as far as the greens or anything like that, anything that's uh, healthy um, vegetables, I will get a little bigger helping of that. My well, biggest helping is going to be the protein, the um, chicken or ham or whatever we got. And I probably won't eat as much as that either. I'll probably eat like a three ounces of it. Uh, well, I probably won't be to that point either. But it's going to, and it's going to be in little increments. So don't expect me to eat like a whole bunch in one sitting. Uh, but I would be gracious if, you know, I'm there and you want me to take home some leftovers and buy. Ooh, and by that, by leftovers, I'm not taking a whole turkey home. A whole ham or a big bucket of mashed not happening. Because that's going to spoil. Because I'm just going to let you know, I'm probably going to make it through, you know, maybe what a normal person would eat for two plates in about two weeks. Two or three weeks. Because that's... That's the way my stomach works now, and the way I digest things. So don't expect me to be, like, sitting there eating food and then fall asleep watching football. And that's not going to be what's going to happen. So expect that. But I am excited uh, for Thanksgiving. Oh, one other big n announcement. Um, I got my scholarship for my CDLs. So I'm starting my CDL training right now. Uh, I'm going to start uh, at home. I get to work from home to do that while I'm recouping. Um, and then probably in the next few weeks, I'll be uh, doing the truck driving portion. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. I will be hopefully a truck driver by the end of, you know, January, February. Oh, I just realized that's going to be the crazy season. But hopefully it'll be great. And I don't, I'm, I'm trying to see what I can get and not, you know, be truck driving all across the U.S., but, you know, whatever comes up will be great. Um, yeah, so everything's been great, except for me not asking Tiffany for her number. Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> but at least I know, like, um, like I know um, Cisco would say, you know, you know, I'm, I'm definitely going to, if, if you ever come around, you know, uh, again, I'm definitely going to be asking for your number um, and, you know, maybe having a conversation with you a little bit deeper. So uh, let's uh, let's uh, keep a good, good weekend. Uh, have a great weekend. And uh, 
you know, I'll, I'll see everybody again next week with another update. But, uh, yeah, things are going good. And I uh, hope to see everybody else soon. Talk to you soon.